right. And so good to have such a big crew tonight, especially in the summer. Uh, I just came back from traveling myself and have neglected my own yoga practice. So I'm excited to be here and get back to yoga with everyone here. So tonight's class uh, will be a chair focused class, but you can do everything on the ground too, um, or sitting on your bed, however you feel comfortable. So we'll start finding a stable position on our chair. Um, if it feels better, you can lean up against the back, but if you want to give yourself a little more space, you can come to the center, feet flat, hip distance apart. Let's roll our shoulders up and then roll them back and down, side out. Let's do a couple more like that. Inhale and let it go. One more. Good, and then let your hands rest either palms down if you want to feel a little more grounded or palms up if you want to feel more open and receptive. And you're welcome to close your eyes or find one point to gaze at in front of you. And the summer days can be full and a lot going on. So if you're feeling that you know, summer frazzle, this will be a nice pause, nice time to withdraw from the outside world and tune in to your inside world, your inner landscape. So as you withdraw from the outside, slow down, connect to how your body's feeling and welcome whatever it is. Whether it's pleasant or unpleasant, let it be. Connect to the flow of your breath, not needing to change or do anything to the breath, just watching it come and go. Slowing down to this present moment. Noticing your thoughts and the body sensations coming and going, changing all the time, just observing it like you would observe a beautiful sunset. Letting it all pass through you. Let two more rounds of breath pass through. Then we'll open our eyes. Fluttering the eyes open. So we'll begin with uh, alternate nostril breathing. And you take your right hand and either you can take the two peace fingers and rest them at the point between your brows. Sometimes it feels nice um, when you have head pain, or you can tuck them in like so. So you choose. Our thumb will close the right side and the ring finger is gonna close the left side. We'll be taking turns, just balancing out the breath. So we'll begin by closing the right. Inhale, left. Hold both closed. Exhale through the right side. Inhale right. Close both. And out left. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale the right. 
Inhale, right. Close. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold. Exhale, out the right. Inhale, right. Hold. Exhale, left. If you can do one more round on your own, starting through the left. When you finish your last exhale, let your hands rest, let your natural breath return. And sometimes it's helpful to, to blow your nose before and after. So if that sounds good. Take the time to do that. But balancing the flow through both nostrils is really helpful to calm the mind and help the body just operate more efficiently. So from here, we're going to go into some cat and cow. So stay where you are. Or if you want to go onto the mat uh, in all fours, you can do that. But we'll start by inhaling. Your heart's going to come through, elbows back. Maybe you look up slightly. And then exhale around the spine. Maybe the head comes down. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, round. And you can make this as big or as small as you like. You can keep your head more level if you ever feel dizzy, or you can really exaggerate, letting the, the pelvis tip forward, and then rotate around it back on exhale. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Take your time, exhale, round. And then come back to seated, whether you're on your chair or just stick cross-legged on your mat. And we're gonna go for some big shoulder rolls. So you choose, maybe you, it feels good to just really reach with the arms, make it nice and big, or you can opt to make it smaller. You can even let the hands be to your sides and just rotate back. Inhaling up, exhaling all the way down. And then let's reverse. Maybe it's super big. Maybe you just want to work your shoulders, letting your hands relax to your sides or somewhere in between. Couple more there. Good, and then just wiggle it out, shake it out a bit. And we'll continue this breath and movement pattern, taking your hands to the heart. Inhaling the arms up, maybe you'll be using them to put your hands or forward, and then exhale it back to the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take it to center. Inhale, up. Exhale to the heart. Think of bringing in fresh energy as you bring your arms up. And then exhale, stale energy out. Two more. Inhale, fresh, vibrant energy. Exhale, take it into your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale to the heart. And then take a pause here. And maybe close the eyes or be still with the eyes and connect to your heart's desire for yourself at this moment. What is it that you need? What would make you feel good? What quality? How do you want to feel at the end of this practice? And cultivate that, 
that intention, that possibility for feeling better. Good, and then open up the eyes and we'll take it into a twist. So we'll give you a couple options. The first option is to stay where you are with your feet flat on the floor. And then on your exhale, you'll take right hand to the outside of the left and your left hand can come to the side or maybe even the back of the chair. You wanna lengthen up on your inhale and then exhale, twist through the upper spine. Inhale, lengthening up and exhale, twisting any amount more. You can take it as deep or shallow as you like. You can keep your head looking straight ahead or you can turn your head to your left shoulder. Taking it just before your maximum edge. You don't need to over extend yourself. Nice to keep it within your comfort zone, but know that as you're moving, you're expanding, making space. And on your next exhale, slowly unwind, and we'll come to the other side. So left hand to the outside of the right thigh, either holding the side of the chair, the back of the chair. And inhaling, lift, exhale, twist through the upper spine. And you can keep your head centered as I have it now, or if it feels all right, you can gaze over the right shoulder. Let the pose work for you and what you need today. Expanding your breath, letting the breath guide your movement, guide your depth with the pose. And as you twist, your breath will be a little bit more constricted. Continue breathing in through the rib cage, making space. So take one more in breath. And then exhale, slowly unwind and do whatever feels good to unwind. Maybe it just feels good to kind of round. Maybe you want to lift up. Draw it side to side. Okay. So now we're going to move into some neck stretches. So we'll start holding the bottom of your chair with your right hand. And if it's hard to hold, you can also do a trick where you turn your fingers in and you just sit on your hand. So that's another option. We're just trying to keep that right arm stable. And then you'll turn your, or you'll uh, let yourself kind of droop over to the left. So you're leaning left. You've got the right hand on your chair. And then just let your neck go. So your right ear is just like a waterfall over your right shoulder. And you can feel that stretch through the side. And then here know that you can decrease the intensity by just coming more upright. So you don't need to go to your maximum, finding a place where it's like, ah, oh, that, that feels good. I need to stretch in there. Sigh it out the mouth at any time. And let's try gazing up to the sky, just like a few degrees. You feel a slightly different stretch there. If it feels too deep, come up more upright. And now tilt the nose down a few degrees towards the ground. Finding one more stretch in there. Good, and then release your grip of, with the right hand. Let the chin fall to the center of the chest. And then with one hand, push your head back to center. 
Notice how your neck feels different from side to side. Let's balance it out now. So left hand's gonna hold under the chair or you tilt your hand in and sit on it. Let your right arm just be loose, lean right, and then let the ear release over the right shoulder. It's like you're pouring water out of a pitcher, out of the right ear, over the right shoulder. If you're standing, you can also do something similar by just pressing with the left hand. So we're just creating a stable center here. Now turn your gaze up a few degrees. So we found a new stretch. Side out, releasing any tension. And now let's angle the nose down towards the floor at a few degrees. Final stretch. You can always sit more upright to decrease the stretch. And then releasing the grip with the left hand, let your chin gently roll center. And take one hand to your forehead, bringing your head back, noticing how maybe it feels a little more even. And before we do a couple standing poses, we're going to practice chair pose in our chair. But we'll give you some options to, to increase the intensity as well. So let's, if you are in your chair, scoot to the very edge here, be flat, and you can keep your feet hip distance or even bring them together. So stage one is we'll take hands to the heart and then just hinge forward. So now you're activating the legs here. And that might be a great place to stay if you want to keep your booty on the chair. Uh, if you want to get a little more, maybe you bring your arms up like a goal post or arms straight in front. And then to do the final, uh, most intense, you are going to lift your hips up off your chair. I know you can also adjust here, adjust here. Try a few different options for your arms. And then everybody, if you're off your chair, slowly make it back down. Ah, relax. Shake it side to side. Shake it out. And then let's try one more time. And if you did the ch chair option, maybe you want to just try for like 30 or uh, 10 seconds, bringing your hips up. You choose whatever intensity feels good for you. If you're having a high pain day, just staying on the chair is a great option. All right, so we got feet flat. My feet are together or slightly wider. Hands at the heart. Hinge forward. Feeling that activation through the legs. That can be plenty. Maybe goalpost arms. Option for straight arms ahead. And then option to lift. So you're not touching your chair at all. Keeping your gaze ahead of you on the floor. Breathing. And then hands to the heart wherever you're at. Slowly come on down. And let it go. Check it out. Good. Let's get up now. And we're going to use the back of the chair this time. And this is all optional. You have a wall that works too, or you need any props, depending on how you're feeling today. So we'll start with some side bends. So I've got, uh, you can have your right hand or doesn't matter, one side on the chair and you're standing oh, a few steps away. And let's reach over for a nice deep side bend. I love using the chair for this because you can get really deep into that side body, making space through the ribs, reaching with the fingertips nice and long. One more full breath in and out. 
and then exhale. Come up to center, let your head settle, and then switch sides. I'm going to move my chair just so you can keep seeing me, but we'll do the other side now. So I've got my hand on the back of the chair, reach the opposite arm up and over. And you just feel all that space through the rib cage, fingers reaching. You can let the neck relax though, so you don't want to feel all hunched up. Give your neck space and find a place that feels good for your neck. So usually gazing down is a good option or in front. One more in breath. And then exhale, slowly come back. Knowing it takes a little bit for the head to readjust. And then we'll come into a half down dog using the chair. So we're not bringing our head uh, below our hearts, but we'll do a few um, stretches with the back of the chair. So we are have the top of the hands on the back of the chair, the palms on the back of the chair, and then walk back until you can get to a place where you can slightly bend the knees, micro bend the knees, your feet are under the hips, ears in line with the biceps, pressing with the hands. And then we're going to alternate bending and straightening the legs. So let's start by straightening the right leg and then bending the left leg a little deeper, getting into your hip and then switch. So bend the right, straighten the left. And change, straighten the right, bend left. And change. If you want, you can speed it up a little bit or keep it slow, alternating, bending and straightening. And then let's come back to more of a neutral position with the legs. I like to micro bend just a tad and then stretch. If your low back is tender, you can bend the knees more. Let it out the mouth when you exhale. Good. Let's come on out. Walk your hand, your feet towards your chair. Take a moment. Notice how you're feeling. And then wiggles are always good. <laughs> so let the energy go, maybe twisting. And then we are going to do a balancing pose. So um, if you have a stubular migraine, this is great to practice balancing poses with a chair um, for support. You can do something similar with the wall. Or if you know tree pose and you want to just go for it without any props, be my guest. But we're going to start um, left side is going to have the support. And you're going to keep your feet uh, nice and parallel, and then weight comes to the right foot as we take the left, or excuse me, the right side in, the right foot comes to the inside arch, maybe to the shin, maybe bring it up to the inner thigh, and if you have your foot to the inner leg, think of pressing your foot and the thigh together, like they're both working together. Maybe you keep your hand on the chair, Maybe one hand at the heart or working on your balance, knowing you can always come back. And option to bring your arms up. You can use a chair for this. Beautiful. Full breaths. Let your neck be relaxed. And then exhale, let's slowly unwind. And I'm going to flip my chair, but you're welcome to just flip yourself. All right, so we got our, our feet parallel and hands on the chair if you'd like. Weight through the right foot. I'll turn my left knee out and I can take my, my arch to my ankle, to the shin, 
to the inner leg, pressing thigh and inner leg together wherever you are at. Go with it. You've got so many options. There's no right way to do this. So maybe hands here, maybe here. Play with it. And finding one still point to gaze at is really helpful. If you'd like to play with bringing the arms up, having a support, making space for your neck. So look if your arms are up, those shoulders are back and down. Full, steady breaths, gazing at one still point. And then exhale, let's take it back down. So I know we can't, got a little bit of a late start, so if you need to go, that's fine, but I wanna bring us down for Shavasana for at least a few minutes. So come on down, you can get rid of your chair, or if you'd like to just sit in your chair and just chill out there, that's fine. Let's take, a, especially if you tend to get dizzy having a pillow or a folded blanket for your head is great. If there's anything else you'd like to do while you're here before just laying flat, I like just hugging the knees into the chest, rocking side to side. And then draw little circles with the knees. Reverse. Good, and then lower the feet to the mat and then open one leg at a time, nice and wide. You could do this in your bed too. And then arms wide like a starfish, especially if it's hot where you are. It's nice to just take up space here. Nice open position and then allow those eyes to close. And give yourself this time to do absolutely nothing but rest. Let your breath soothe you, slow you down. Bring that, that observer presence back. Just watching what happens in this amazing home you have in your body. Being fascinated with all the sensations that arise, whether they feel pleasant or not. Noticing how sometimes the feelings in the body intensify, sometimes they decrease, sometimes the breath quickens and sometimes it slows. Nothing to do but watch and observe. Letting go of holding. Letting go of any preoccupation, the future or past. Sinking into this moment. And watch as two more rounds of breath go through you. And then as we get ready to come to seated, come into whatever stretch feels natural. Maybe you want to just reach your arms up, wiggle fingers and toes. And then slowly roll to one side for a moment. And slowly push your way 
up to a seated position on your chair or mat or bed. Take your hands back to the heart. Connect to that intention, that deep longing for you from your heart of how you wanted to feel, how you wanted to feel better from your yoga practice. And hopefully that seed of intention has, has started to grow a bit. You do feel a little different, a little calmer, a little more spacious. And then offer gratitude for some part, some function of your body. It's easy to feel like we're at war with our body when living with migraine and offer some gratitude for your body right now. Whether it's thanking your heart or your eyes, your brain, thank you for working, making it so you can thrive. And I offer my love and thanks to all of you. Thank you so much for showing up. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you so much and for accommodating our late start um, and all of you. Um, I, I really liked the phrase when you said, let the pose be.